The problem generally starts when pigs in a livestock operation find a hole in the fence. Feral pigs in North Dakota are, in most cases, an escaped animal from somebody's, somebody's place. These once domestic hogs grow wild or feral and can carry diseases that are harmful to other livestock or humans or even household pets. They can carry things that we've mostly eradicated from this country like tuberculosis, brucellosis, pseudorabies. The state's wildlife could also be affected by the diseases spread by feral swine. Much of the wildlife, especially the hoof stock, are susceptible to the same diseases that cattle and swine are. So certainly those animals can be affected by feral swine as well. Feral pigs are much more rough looking than domestic hogs. Teeth that aren't clipped, long tails and ears that aren't notched or, or frostbitten. They also destroy habitat by rooting up or trampling everything in their path. They're destructive when it comes to the habitat. I mean, they'll, they'll tear things up and, and wreck a lot of habitat and they'll eat whatever they can get. Keep in mind though, it is illegal to destroy what you think is a feral hog. The general public can't go out and just shoot a hog if they see it. Um, because for one, it may have just gotten out. And so the landowner may be looking for it, trying to get it back. Another reason to avoid destroying one feral swine is you may educate the rest of the pack. But it's important to not pursue these or, or try to attempt to hunt them, not only because it's against the law, because it, but because it makes it more difficult to, uh, to corral or to track down any others that are in that group. They're a very smart animal. Once they get pressure, they turn nocturnal, they turn, you know, they move, they change their, their habits and everything. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.